Hello students, this video is covering introduction to push down automata and its formal definition and push down automata is in unit 4 according to your curriculum. So let's start with push down automata. What is it? Push down automata, it is used to implement context free grammars that is we can design transition diagrams for context free grammar as well like we did it for regular grammar that if regular grammar is given to us we can able to design deterministic finite automata using right linear grammar or left linear grammar dfa and pda it has a basic difference that in dfa we are having limited amount of information that we can access or remember finite amount of information onto the input tape or finite control machine whereas in push on automata we are able to remember infinite amount of information and this is possible because of the external memory which is augmented with it and that is called as a stack so in simple words we can say push down automata it is an nfa which is augmented with an external stack memory now the question arises why we have selected stack not q here because it provide last and first out memory management and this add capability to push down automata it store an unbounded amount of information on the stack and that's make push down automata to remember an infinite amount of information it can access a limited amount of information on the stack because we can only make element insert or delete at the top of the stack that's why it has only one element to be accessible not any other one a push down automata can push an element on the top of stack and also pop off an element from the top of the stack that's why it is more powerful than finite automata now any language which is accepted by finite automata it can also be accepted by push down automata but if you think vice versa it is also possible then the answer is no push down automata accepts a class of language which cannot be accepted by a finite automata and that's why push down automata is superior to finite automata now what are the components of push down automata and how the structure will work of this kind of machine so there are three basic components this is the input tape this is a finite control and this is the stack so input tape is connected to finite control finite control is connected to stack which through which we can perform push or pop operation and this finite control will give us an output in the form of accept or reject. Now, if we will go in detailed way or detailed diagram, then this is a finite control machine. This finite control machine, it is having an input tape. This input tape is connected to this machine, but it has only read only feature or read only property. That finite control machine can read this data or read these symbols and these symbols or the header will move from left to right only and it can read one symbol at a time so it is like input tape is divided into many cells or symbols it is read only and may move from left to right one symbol at a time now the second is finite control machine now this finite control machine it points the current symbol to read whether it will be a stack or it will be a input tape it will read the current symbol right now the third component which is said to be a stack this stack is connected to finite control machine through read or write head that is in this stack we can read as well as write the symbols according to the scenario according to the given situation right this stack has infinite size and it has it is used to store the items permanent inter temporarily right we can store items in this stack only on a temporary basis not permanently that we can uh, insert elements as well as push out or delete elements and after that we will not uh, look after that how many elements are there or elements left or not but the thing is we have to empty the stack at the end of the transition now in this stack we can push and remove the items from one end only and that is called as your top of the stack and this is the direction of string how the string 
or al uh, alphabets are inserted into this stack. Now, moving towards the more formal definition of push down automata, like we have already seen that finite machines are defined by tuples. So here DFA and FA they are defined by five tuple, but push down automata it is defined by seven tuple. So it is basically a seven tuple machine. In this list, in this seven tuple list, we are having Q, Sigma, Tau, Q0, Z, F, Delta. And few symbols to which we are very much familiar in case of deterministic finite automata. So here Q, it says that this is a finite set of states. Sigma, it is input set. Q0 will be an initial state. F will be a set of final states. So this Q, it is a set of state. It is set of alphabets or input set. It is initial state and it is a set of final states. Now, delta, as we know, this defines the transition that how one state will change to another state on given input symbol. Now, the question is that what are these sim two symbols are used for? Here, since we know that there is one more component which is called a stack. So the symbols which are added to this stack and the initial symbol of the stack. So to keep track of this, we are using two more symbol in this PDA, right? So here tau, it is a stack symbol which can be pushed and pop from the stack. So either you can say we can have a same similar kind of symbols to sigma or we can use different symbols as well. Now Z, Z is a start symbol and it belongs to tau only that it is a part of it is a member of this tau set and Z is a start symbol we are saying it is start symbol because whenever we start our transitions the stack is initially empty so to start with working to start with transitions first of all we have to insert this start symbol onto the stack so that's why this is a Z. Right, delta will be the mapping function which is used for moving from one state to another state. Right, so uh, this is up to this, and in next video, I'll cover that what are the different operations or how we write delta for pushdown automata. Thank you.